this video I'm going to attempt to take apart this failing Western Digital my book take the hard drive out and, and I might replace it with another one so I've had this hard drive for well over five years so it's out of warranty but instead of just throwing it away I actually like this case quite a bit it has a lot of good connections on it you can see Firewire eSATA and uh, USB so I don't want to throw away this case but the hard drive's going bad so I'm just gonna take the hard drive out let's see how to take apart a Western Digital my book so if you look around the case you know it's pretty much sealed all around you know there's no really way to just take it apart so I'm guessing I'll have to pop this out somehow you can see there's a little ridge on this see that so I'm going to attempt to take this thing apart without completely destroying it so down here towards the bottom of the case and there it is there it goes there I just kind of popped out I needed some force all right so you can see how that clip right here how it's clipped in there Hopefully it's like that around the other side as well. Yep, that's how it is across this other side here as well. Got a clip in there. So I just gotta yank that apart. Okay, so I got the sides off. I just have to figure out how I'm gonna pull this out. There we go. Just kind of tip it sideways, I think. That should work. All right there, after some just kind of pulling on it and working it a bit, I finally got this off. There it is. Okay. All right. So there's the outer shell. Now you can see how it clips on. Clips clear around the top and on the bottom here too. All right, so this kind of just pops out. It kind of clips in down here. You just pop it out. And now I'll have to remove some screws so I can get the hard drive out. Okay, so we removed these screws here and the screws in here. And then this kind of slides off. This is the control for our ports. Then I'll have these two screws here to remove so I can get the hard drive out. Okay, this comes right off. Now I can see here that on this part here that we took off, that's actually where your hard drive is plugging into the SATA or SATA ports. Kind of plugs in like this here. By the way, when you're taking off this metal part, make sure you, instead of just sliding straight over, slide up first because that's what disengages you know our ports here and then slide it over I actually found another hard drive it doesn't have near the capacity of this hard drive but it does work so for now I guess we'll install this hard drive here so here's our hard drive that we're going to install and I'll simply just uh, you know repeat these steps this will go on a certain direction you want to make sure this cut out here leaves your ports exposed so we can put this on there. All right, so we got those four screws installed. Now we'll put on this plate here with our ports on it again. Just go on here. And it'll just slide in there. Just make sure you have a good connection. Of course, before you replace those screws, make sure these are under these tabs here. All right, there we go. Now I can put those screws in there. All right, that's done. Got our screws all installed. Now comes the part where we have to figure out how to put this back in. So this is pretty simple. You'll just want to make sure you match up your ports here with your ports here. It shouldn't be too difficult. You can see in here how this drive sits in there. There's these like rubberized sort of rests. Alright, see how that slides in there? 
nice tight fitting same for this side so you'll kind of angle your drive here and then the other side can rest over here all right there we go look on the back you can see it's correct all of our ports are exposed correctly and then we have this little plastic piece to put on which I believe actually carries the light to this front panel here so we can see you know when there's activity going on if you look down in here you can see those lights in there so there's a slot here on the front where this connects see how that's kind of like a comb Just kind of match those up on the inside I know you can't see that but I can see it from this angle don't know if I can show that very well on camera but those combs are sitting right on top of those lights pushed into that rubber mounting area just a little bit so that should carry the light so we can see the activity okay so that is it for the inner workings now comes this outer shell I'll go by the logos on the shell that this is the bottom and I'll start by sliding it on let's give it a real good push should pop right into place see we don't have any gaps on the top or the edges all right to test this see if our new drive works we're going to plug it back in with the SATA first now I'll turn on the computer and we can see the drive is appearing to work so I'll have to let it boot all the way up to see if the drive is recognized make sure we have everything connected properly right here we can see our drive is showing up local disk F it already had a backup of Windows on there so I'll need to format this drive still since I'll use it for a backup drive format it get rid of all that stuff that's on it but at least it appears to be working fine so that's all for this video if you happen to have a my book that you know stops performing as it should you know don't throw away the my book the case because these cases are usually really nice especially if you have the eSATA firewire and the uh, usb ports on them the case alone is worth money so instead of throwing away the entire external drive just just get rid of the failing hard drive and put a new hard drive in there so there you go that's how you would take apart a western digital my book and put a new hard drive in it. Now it's performing just like it's brand new.